Now, State Senate 43rd District, again, we flipped a coin uh, and we ended up with uh, Bill Britton first. So, uh, get him unmuted and uh, you can take it away. All right, all yours. We seem good to me. Pennsylvania is ranked one of the most corrupt states in Pennsylvania. We have no ban on lobby gifts. We have no limits on contributions to politicians. And I fundamentally think that this is affecting how our policy works. Special interests pervade every aspect of our government. And this is a Republican problem and a Democratic problem. I'm going to give some examples of Senator Costa, but I have a problem with how our state government runs as a whole. Now we talk about air quality issues in Forest Hills. Um, you can talk about who donates to politicians and how that works. And Morgan O'Brien, the CEO of Equitable Gas, donated $46,000 to, to Senator Costa, U.S. Steel, IBEW. And the way that this works on every issue is we're only offered half solutions to our biggest problems because of these special interests. I mean, you talk about a housing and gentrification issue. Greg Perlman, the CEO of Walnut Capital, gave $48,000 to Jay Costa in 2016 and 2019. I recognize that this might be how the state does business, but this should not be how we go forward. We will never solve any of the problems that we have unless we do something about this. You know, I believe that state politics or federal politics should not be a football game between red versus blues. It takes nuances to run our state government properly, and I think that we need people who can do that and who are willing to make those sacrifices. I don't think it's too far or an unbelievable idea to think that our government could be transparent and could put the interest of the weak and the poor ahead of the special interests that they've done for years. I'm running as an alternative to the status quo. I've always put community over money as I run all of my businesses that way, and I will continue to do that whether I win or lose this race. Thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, does anybody have any questions they'd like to ask? We'll take a moment for people to find the raise hand button. My name is Bill Britton. Uh, Martha Rack has a question. Bill, Hi, Martha. can you hear me? Hi. Yes, ma'am. Um, are you able to put together a campaign? I mean, do you have a campaign established? I do. I actually I believe I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I've been funding this myself. Obviously, coronavirus has put my business situation in a weird spot, but um, you know, I fundamentally believe in what I'm doing, so I have pretty much as much money as I'm willing to put forward to move it forward. Obviously, coronavirus has changed things drastically, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, do you have people supporting you? I do. Yeah, I have a pretty good presence, obviously, in Shadyside and Point Breeze, where my businesses are located. Um, obviously, there's a divide in the Democratic Party right now between people my age and younger and people older, so I have a lot of support from the younger end of the spectrum. Have any groups come out and supported you? That's a tricky issue. Senator Costa is very powerful and very well known. Um, I will have a few endorsements, but the vast majority have endorsed Senator Costa, partially because he has a good record with the things that they believe in, or in general, just because he's Senator Costa. All right, any other questions? Well, seeing none, we just heard uh, about Senator Costa. Let's hear from Senator Costa. It, Mac, it looks like Ron uh, has a question. Uh, sure, sure. Let's let, let's hear uh, Ron Geddes' question first. Oh, yeah, thanks. Start. Hi, Bill. I just wanted to ask your question about what would you do on your first day in office if you were elected? First first hundred days. So don't have to worry about one one day. Yeah, I was going to say one day I would be able to effectively like do to nothing. Do. I recognize that. Um, one of the big policy changes that I believe in is ending the drug war, which is particularly legalizing drug use and making it a health issue and not a crime. Um, that also would be to mar legalize marijuana and try and use that tax funding, obviously, to put towards education or various things that would be difficult to allocate money for. But I do believe that we need fundamental and drastic reform. And I do think there's an idea that these policies that support working class people would not be accepted by Republicans. But I, I think the opposite. I think if the Democratic Party was seen as a party for the people who put the people first, that we could get votes in places that we don't think that we could. You know, my wife is from Venango County, so we have a, obviously go there a lot. But the idea is that these people voted for Donald Trump. 
could be ideas that you know are Democrat at their core. I do believe that if the Democratic Party pushed those ideas and was a party of young people, like Representative Lee, who's done a great job, that we could possibly grow the party in a way that maybe doesn't seem possible right now.